Okay guys, we're here with some mono green Tron today. Playing loads and loads of the usual cards, you know, Karn, Liberated, 4X, Ancient Stirring, Sylvan Scrying, the Stars, the Spheres, the Maps, etc. We're also playing a little spicy Yavamai Cradle of Growth, as to make it so. When we go get Forest, it's even more Forest. Battlefield playing some Relics. We got a Carnivore Creator sideboard, you know, Chalice for Cascade. Lista for the small creatures, Sun and Titan for a whole Amulet Titan or those five colored decks. Got, you know, Wilt's Veil, Summer, and Force of Vigor for some other sideboard dedicated hate for us. Off to the side, you get White Seas, a Walking Bliss, and two Lumogs in our main deck as well. Only one O Stone today, no All is Dust, so not as many board wipes. Playing a bit more small creature removal spells, and we'll see how it ends up doing. We'll see what we can end up producing with the goods. Hopefully we can find an opponent somewhat soon so we, you know, can start playing out this deck and see how it ends up going. But, we'll have to see how long it'll take, you know? See how long it will have to take. Hmm. A little bit tired today, but so we can get through the tired, you know, get do some good magic. Hmm. Can we find a match in less than three minutes? I was gonna say less than two minutes, but we're looking like we're struggling right now. We're in the struggle. Very tight struggle here. Can we find a match? That's the good question, you know? Will it be happening? Oh, there we go. We finally found it. Finally found our match. We've done it. We have done it. One land, not gonna cut it, I don't think. Atlas Mulligan. No Tron land, not gonna cut it either. One day I'll be the Tron player, you know, with natural Tron on seven. But it ain't gonna be today. I guess we'll Mulligan before here. I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Hopefully it doesn't end up too badly for us. We can find the last Tron piece or some way to find it. Uh, Dragon Fodder, are they playing goblins, maybe? That's Shock Pass. Well, that was good for us. That was a nice top deck. Nice little top deck. Get us to turn through Tron. We got Karn to find whatever sideboard card it ends up being good here. What do we got on our board? We got loads of cards, depending on what our opponent's actually playing. Didn't really need the expedition map. Karn liberated. That's nice. Both hands. Okay. Hers is mine. That's not good. I'll get rid of these two and go for a Karn play here, I think. Blessing on them. But I don't want to like minus and they have like some way to just like bolt my Karn or something. That would be bad. Village rights. It's not quite what I wanted to see either.
just scroll into all, okay. So I'm losing my sudden screen here. They don't do anything else to the last card in their hand. I think I'm just gonna plus again. They have another village, right? Yuck. There's nothing I can really do but plus here, I think. Because they have unearth it just like another one where the top four cards will ever. That's crazy. That's such a bad card. Rather than your mob and deck. Yeah, they just have an earth. So maybe I was supposed to minus. I guess I could have gone for like Karn Snaring Bridge. That would have been a lot better versus now understanding what their deck is. I obviously had no idea that they were playing all in Lightning Skull Mental Deck. Now that we know, we can make some changes. Hmm. Well, this thing's a bit rough here. I'll just bring in Wilts. Follow the. keep this in probably bad but has high potential and I think having Wilt in the opener is not bad as well I guess I could have looked up Dragon Fodder and now I think now I'm thinking about it I think I can remember them playing this deck before against me The classic all in deck. It's like, hey, well, here they are all in. Let's see if we get rewarded or punished for taking a much more. Say greedy to an extent, but trying to play around like blood moon effects slash alpine moon effects. Let's get on earth two. Next seems to be non functional if they don't draw this card. I do it seems pretty good for them. That's not good. I think I have to cycle this at this point. Huh. Well, if I don't, you know, lose another two cards on my hand, which is unlikely at this point, I think. Ugh. I'm waiting for them to just go like tank, 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 play like Ice Elemental in some way or another. They did have the Blood Moon. I was right about that. I was literally right about them having the Blood Moon, and then I just played into it on the last turn. Why did I tap the forest, you may ask? No good answer on that one. Okay, they just, they're, oh yeah, they, they, <laughs> oh, they locked themselves out, it looks like. Hmm. 
Huh. Thinking about lightning bolts. They don't have lightning bolts. I feel good about just getting metal coating and then trying to sear down the line. That punished me. Thought about getting Tormod script as well, but decided not to. I hit off the top. I guess I can just get Grafticker's Cage now. Lose this, which sucks a lot. But I decided to get greedy and greedy was met with punishment. Greed was met with way to beat the greed. If I had built. Do nothing. Tapping that forest is kind of bad. Because now I can't just like bolt on the end stuff. Although it probably doesn't matter all that much. I don't want to wilt right now, no luck. I need that. I was like, just need to figure out how to. I guess I can't do the thing that gets me now. Did it just like get got by them on our thing or something? Hmm. Hmm. Well, they're playing it. Let's play one quill engine here. It's done. We get to Ugin minus 10, then I don't think we can lose. But, you know, we have to get to Ugin minus 10. We need to survive this soon. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. I get to minus 10, so I don't see myself losing the spot, so that's good. Minus 10. I would like to put in a lot of permanence, please. Thank you very much. I think that's not good enough for me. Let's 
go get Trinistria, I think, here. They're open Ancient Strings, though. Okay, didn't think about that card at all. And the fact that they didn't cast that on this is absurd. They could have cast it on Ugin to make it so I didn't minus 10, and they didn't. It's crazy. So crazy. That's crazy. They could have killed my Ugin and they decided not to when it was at 11. Interesting place for the opponent. Interesting place. Uh. Mm. People don't know how to play in this goal. Spittle Tron, it seems like. Let's see. That's not natural Tron. That is. Uh, uh, uh. They got the combo. Uh, of course they do. Of course they do. It's frustrating, to say the least. Frustrating, to say the least. I think I can do about it though. Maybe get flood there and just zero percent on it. Classic opponent deck is non functional without lightning skull until they're opening hand and they have it every game. So it is life sometimes. That is life sometimes. How's it going, FA? Stash. I shaved it because it was getting annoying. They've got to have blood moon. If they have blood moon here, I'm just like, oh, okay. All right, well, let's see if we can survive. Jordan Quillinch now. But exile it, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was such like a disastrous match. That was such a disastrous match.
Pretty disastrous. So disastrous. Hey, yo, we'll do better now. Hmm. Let's do a bit better this time. Let's do a bit better this time. <clears throat> Sand seems good. Sand seems good to me. Has turned three Tron with a Carnly Rick Creator. A global hierarchy. is mine. This Yogg? Playing as Yogg-Moth? yogg, -Moth? yogg -Moth is a great matchup for us. Okay, not yogg -Moth. Wait, they took Sylvan Scrang? Am I gonna get Assassin's Trophy here? That's... that sucks. Assassin's Trophy. That sucks. Well, that is unfortunate. Strike ready. Is this power plant, please? That plays. Right. So this is a power plant. A lot of clues. Hmm. I'll just do this and kill both their trackers. I need to keep my ballista around. It's pretty reasonable to me. Scoop. Scoop up. Actually, this card's gonna be bad. Hmm. This ain't as bad. Sounds a lot better. Power plant. Oh. Turn one ignoble with games. Come on. Draw the second or the, or the third is power plant. It's 
fish. Is my silver scrying? I feel like I should be inquisitioning on turn one in case I have map. That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Oh. That's annoying. Did I board out my working wheels? Okay, never mind. That play was just nothing. Oh. I'm gonna get the Gotta play around Crows and Grip, of course, you know? Actually, no, this is bad. Because if they have, like, Narco Misha or Dirt Lost Legacy or something like that to get rid of my. There's this tower. Then I get, like, absolutely owned by not getting Blast Zone. I kind of get owned by, like, Double Assassin Shofi. Or, like, Assassin Shofi. Let's or something. That was actually bad. Although it doesn't really change anything realistically. So let's just do this because, like, there's realistically no haste creatures that I'm worried about, but the extra mana could be something. I'm not sure. Creator. Play this, go get Ballista. Play out Sphere, pass the turn. Let me tell you, Tron against Black Green X, even when they had a double disruption, not good enough. Playing here. No, we're playing versus Boomer Rock. Scoop him up, scoop him up. How's it going, MLX? I can tell when people come into my stream and my stream gets like 50 more viewers or like doubles the viewership. What is that? It's because, uh, what's the name? <laughs> it's because, uh, Aspiring Spike stopped streaming. It's kind of funny. Probably gonna start my streams later. Now to, uh, you know, now that I've, like, this is, like, basically been completely prominent where I, like, cap out kind of at, like, six viewers, but then cap out at, like, 200 when he's done streaming. He's kind of gotten to the point where he dwarfs everyone and takes all the viewership from everyone else while he's streaming. I've been, like, studying it over the past, like, couple weeks. It's literally, like, when he streams, like, even Doomwake, who's, like, even bigger than me right now, he, like, in the, I would say, like, the second biggest modern streamer is, like, I guess, Bob the Dog. Like, that person, like, even Game of Thief can't even, like, get to his, like, max. The Spiring Spike basically dwarfs everyone, which is how, you know, Twitch has worked for who knows how long. It, it, it all goes to the winner. Whoever is number one dwarfs everyone else if they're playing the same format, or playing, like, the same sort of thing. So, that's how it's been forever and will continue to be forever, so... Gotta try and maximize my way out of that situation. Even though I put, like, no time into streaming, you know, gotta put the time that I do put in, you know, better managed. Um, sand sucks. The sand sucks as well. Rotron? Oh, yeah. Who's this playing? Uh. Analysis. 
stick it out. Oh yeah. But small optimizations can be made. It's why I tried to never stream while Caleb was streaming back in the day. Or Game of Steve was streaming. Because you could never beat them in numbers. But now it is a spying spike is the man I've got to be. Shadow That croaky's bump? What do you mean that croaky's bump? Like, <laughs> I like couldn't get over 50 viewers for like the first two hours of my stream. Spying Spikes don't streaming, already doubled my viewers <laughs> in like less than 30 minutes. Uh, not surprising, but it is funny. Kind of looking at it. Oh yeah, but he streams Arena, so it doesn't matter. Arena and MTGO viewership essentially don't cannibalize each other in, at all. Same with like format viewership realistically. That's not a bad draw. Spikes too. Yeah. It's not surprising, like at all. It is annoying, and not but not something I'd have, I ever put against anyone else. It's just annoying that that is how the infrastructure of Twitch works. That's just the way it goes. It goes Ragman isn't actually that good versus us, so. At least in this scenario. She goes, yep. That's annoying if they potentially got a card draw out of it. But, um, yeah, that's why I'm like trying to start putting some focus on, uh, trying to put some work into like this other YouTube channel working with my roommate and stuff, looking at YouTube more because it has. Much more potential than Twitch for me, with how much work I want to put into things. Getting a job. That's pretty big of you to ask, Mr. Final Mutant. But I don't want to get a job because obviously I don't like working very much, and um, I really don't like authority at all as well, so those don't mix together well, you know, for your boy. No reason to crack that, actually. It could only end up badly for me if they had something like Croza. I mean, if I needed to support myself, if I did not have a pro if, if I had a problem supporting myself with streaming or playing Magic Con or anything like that, and I didn't see any forward mobility or upward mobility with it, I would quit and go get a job or like go finish school. There's certain things in life. Um, you know, you've got to come down and say, okay, this is not working. I have to make the, the better long-term decision. Which, I mean, probably the long-term decision, you know, in, like, the majority of the cases for me would have been better to finish school or, like, go get a job or something like that. But, you know, I don't want to do that, so I don't. <laughs> Possible. There's a YouTube exclamation point YouTube shorts. As I said, the croaks was gonna get me for my play. The exclamation point YouTube shorts for my other channel. Perfect. <laughs> Punished Max. I mean, I don't know if I would aspire to be rich in the sense that, like, I aspire to, you know, 
have over a million dollars in my lifetime. Take a lot of time, of course. But I aspire to that. I don't aspire for like $10 million. I aspire for a million dollars because at that point, I think to myself, this puts me in a spot where, you know, if I want to do something, I can do it. And if I don't want to do something, I don't really have to do it. That's kind of what a million dollars does to does for you. But that's why I aspire to have that. Not as a means of, you know, well, I also, you know, like money, money number go up. I always, you know, I've always enjoyed that. But more so, you know, complete freedom or financial freedom is. Oh, I mean, just like a new log breaks the game open, so a strong log. I'm not really not bad either. Well, it's easily just be countered in some way. I think I'm just gonna plus this though. No real reason to minus, because lightning bolt kind of owns this. Just put that stuff again after a million. Oh, it makes me happy, yeah. Well, the thing is. I aspire for a million dollars, like, it, like, starts you know, 45, yeah, I mean, I don't want, I want it, you know, before I turn, like, 70. I'd just be dead anyways. Actually, looks like I am just dead, because I have this, so. Hit me, and then they croak, so I'm dead. And they have the man for it all, so. I am, yes. I mean, I understand the idea of that, like, a bunch of people are very close to financial ruin. I am not one of those people. I am fairly financially secure, both because my family is not wealthy, but very, like, well off middle class. Um, now, at least. It wasn't that case for, for a little bit. You know, when recession hit, we were, we were in some struggle times. But, um, Side working. I don't know. I kind of hate working well on this deck. That's good. Where are everything else? <laughs> Can't take an unexpected expense. Yeah, no, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are both, or either, or even both, not financially like savvy and don't like think about savings and investing long term and such. Oh, do you relate to communist socialist ideals? Um from my understanding, I mean this is very limited understanding. But from what I remember, uh when I did study it, you know, middle school and high school, so you know, take this with a grain of salt, that like communism only worked in small, um like two hundred or less people um communities. Because it was something like, or maybe it was 150 people, something like, once you don't know every single person in your community, you're much less likely to do things for, like, the greater good, or for the greater good of the community. Alt altruistic, or whatever the word is. Altruism. Something like that. I mean, I could be completely wrong. This is just what I, like, I feel like I remember. But it's... Whereas, I mean, there are socialist ideas that I like. There are also conservative ideas that I like. What is unfortunate is there's a lot of idealistic things that I would like to happen, and then there are a lot of realistic things that I understand are happening and will continue to happen that, you know, you got to think about. So it just doesn't work. Chat. I think we are being fairly reasonable with this conversation at the moment. 
Do I have any Pro Tour stories? Kind of. Let me think. Pro Tour stories that I have. I only played a couple of PTs. Talk about colleges and stuff. I have never seen those emotes before Final Nova, so I'm not going to enable them. Very well behaved, yeah. Once it starts becoming unwell behaved, then I'll snip it in the bud. It's happened before, but, you know. But, like, you know, when you talk about, uh, like, socialist, you know, socialism, you know, there's some good socialist programs, like, you know, maternity leave, um, certain social safety nets. People who lose their job, potentially. I get rid of this. Because Tarn Liberty is great if I draw it, it's just mine. Primary Creator is great if I don't. <laughs> this tower, eh? Not quite done. Take for my exterior. Um... Yeah. But I do believe at some point, if you make taxes too much, there's like, if if you don't do that with certain other programs, it has the potential to stifle certain businesses um, from either being created or. Um, to be like, end up being better uh, for more people. And also promotes, you know, tax evasion, like legal tax evasion. I mean, obviously, it's hard, hard complicated. God. Of course, but you lose the exhibition map. Ready to get stubbed, you know? Super, just super sad. Trying to vlog? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. The exhibition. But there's the, uh, it's like the Laffer Curve, I think it's called, that, like, has an ideal, it's called the Laffer Curve. Laffer Curve. It's, like, the amount of taxes you want to have. It's, like, let me show it here. Open image in new tab. It shows... Tax percentage versus tax revenue, and the ideal is getting, have the tax revenue be the highest with the tax rate, you know, being the highest, somewhere in the middle. It's like conservatives think we're on this side, and, Dem or not Democrats, I guess, li liber liberals, I don't know, conservatives, liberals, something like this. Conserv like, Republicans think we're on this side, Democrats think we're on this side, at least in America right now. Rich dad, poor dad. I didn't. But what I do have is this when I was a child. Let me show you this. Oh my lord, if I could just take it out. Right underneath my Remy Q. You guys ever, if you guys have never played this game, now this is a true game right here. Oof. This game right here, Cash Flow by Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's like Epic Monopoly, kind of. Great game. Haven't played it in a long time. Let us rip Urza's mine. Urza's mine one time. Let's go. Urza's mine. It's kind of like Urza's mine if you think about it. Flying lawnmower tab. Let me see. It's just this. I made this. I had this tab from when I was like. In middle school, maybe. 
Now, if you guys, one day I'll show you this video. Where the Jimmy's, oh yeah, Jimmy Wrestler and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so I've never actually read Rich Dad Poor Dad, but this is made by the Rich Dad Poor Dad like company type stuff. I gotta put this, it actually has so much dust in it, it's starting to give me some nose irritation. Right above it is Remy Cube, people who ever played that game. If you never played Remy Cube, then you ain't living. It's like, was it originally like a French game? This game. Remy Cube. I haven't played this in a long time. I literally complete. I like don't even remember how to play it. Here we go. Who wouldn't love this little face right here? The old Remy Cube. I love playing board games. I have a friend who has some like cool board games that we play every once in a while. Oh, they did K-Command me. Yeah, screw your K-Command, bud. I think it's do this, get in Steering Bridge, leave a blast zone. And then discard. Then I think it's discard Carnal Liberated to Kroxa if they play Kroxa. Yep. My Disney stock did well today. Return about a hundred hundred bucks. My ten shares. Let's pop off today. Walmart's popping off a little bit. Love to see ya. Well, no, if they get to if they play Crooks here and I have to discard something, I'm going to discard my Carn Liberator, that's what I'm trying to say. Right. Always love when my stocks do well. I'll find it, that's no fair. Good play by them. Hmm. I'm gonna chalice to them. I think that's my game. Chalice to them. Because so they can't croak some me. Eventually I just draw lands to get to my card liberated slash you can. Yeah, because it turns this into not uh, there's a tower turns to a forest. That is a problem. That's a big problem. That messed me up. Oh, that, that I enjoy that too. You have to plus my Instagram bridge.
need to draw all different things I can draw here. Alright. Um thing is Karn isn't actually even good here. Cause it just like well actually it is, because it makes it so they can't dash that anymore, right? Don't hit a lamp. That's fine. They drew both off the top, eh? Drew both off the top, eh? Nice. I would have lost the game anyway, so it doesn't matter. That was annoying. Okay. Can we find another opponent a reasonable amount of time here? There we go. As soon as I complain, then we get the match. We don't have Tron here, so it's easy mulligan for me at least. Well, that's an upside. The only upside to this hand is that it's an easy mulligan. No, it's not a trap, it's great, because we just get an easy mulligan. <laughs> but now. There, go. Again? 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 Burn. Getting burned. Look in that six card hand. It didn't have Tron, didn't have a way to get Tron, and didn't have any payoffs. If it had a payoff, I would have thought about holding Or keeping it, I mean. And an egg. Yes, but it had no. It didn't do anything. It needed the egg needed to both find a way to third Tron piece as well as an action spell, and it had neither. Like, but in the SNL sketch, that is kind of funny. Yeah. 
think I lose this game already, unfortunately. Well, now I'm definitely dead. We're at the very least three turns away from Tron. We're going to have to take at least four damage to cast it. We're going to take six damage from this in that time period. So we're going to take ten damage. So I need to find only five damage worth of burn there to kill us. Seems reasonable for them to do. I think that seems reasonable for them to do. Dismembers are bad. I'm going to bring in Wilt and possibly even a Force of Vigor. Hmm. I'm actually going to bring in Walk the Ballista over a Force Speaker. Close. Woo! That was a big, that was a big yawn. That was a big And is bad. Sand is bad as well. You cut this memory, you don't want to take eight and come out of one. <laughs> How bad is it to have one of the plus push board? What do you mean? It's burn Thrag Tusk or what is this one? Probably Thrag Tusk? But it's somewhat close ish. Somewhat close ish. Hmm. I was thinking about their seven long and hard. Let us mulligan our hand again. Let us mulligan our hand again. Well. Well then. Guess they got us. You know, sometimes you just uh, hit a couple too many zero landers in a row, and that's the way it goes. Yeah, being on the draw against a turn two Eidolon when your hand is pretty non-functional and then, you know, your hand is then not functional again. Pretty bad. Pretty bad, I would have to say. Pretty bad. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't. As we say, that is the way she goes. Hmm. Huh. Well, maybe we can you know to get our get our fifty play points back. That's the hope at this point, right? Let's get our fifty play points back. Let's make it happen. Get all fifty play points. Get our Oh, bot rock. Everyone loves robot rock, right? Oh, bot rock. Dono deck after? I don't have any dono decks ready, and, you know, unless someone wants to give me $50 to do a dono deck, I do not have any plans on playing a dono deck. If someone wants to shell out fifty dollar reduce to your boy. I do have one other deck after this, which you know, good old another boomer deck. 
That's totally strange. I only do 50. You know why I do $50 Medica? It's not because I'm greedy. It's obviously clear that I'm not greedy. It is because I really don't want to do it. But, as is with most people, everyone has a number to get bought out to do something that they don't want to do. That's just my number. My number is $50. Number is fifty dollars to get bought up to do something they don't want to do. Yes, most of the time they're very painful to do and suck. But then I also feel bad because I'm like fifty dollars to have someone like kind of watch me go through the motions on their deck is pretty bad as well. So I like I also kind of feel bad to do that. This is the worst stone deck experience I've had. I mean, I've had a deck that is literally like worse than a draft deck that I had to play out through five leagues in a friend or five matches in a friendly league. That was like fifteen dollars that someone gave me, and I was trying to tell them to not do it, and they gave me the money, and I felt so bad I had to do it. So, you know, hurts me more than it hurts your defense. <laughs> I mean, I tell people not to do it. Like, if I want dono decks, if I actually want a dono deck, so I'd make them like thirty dollars, maybe twenty five, like for subs or something like that. I think that's a reasonable time. You know, ten dollars for the league that I have to have payment. I'm assuming I'm gonna do badly most of the time, and like twenty dollars for you know having my time for like, um, it's like ten dollars or ten to twenty dollars to have my time for like a few hours doing something that you want me to do. I think that's reasonable. I think it's fair. $50 gets a little bit unfair because I don't think my time is worth like $20 to $30 an hour. Lost subscriptions. I would prefer to not do it today, Medikai. If you messaged me and had a time that was better than today because I'm starting to get a bit tired now and I would really be going through the motions on it. But I'd love to do it one of these days if you want to. If I love to do it, I mean, I like money. So, you know, what am I going to do, right? But, like, also, if you don't want to spend the money, I think Doomwake has many videos on that. Or you could ask him. He may even have done it today or doing it today. So, I just, I don't know. There's something about Dono decks that also feel like a little bit off to me. Feels like almost, I don't know how to describe it, but like the way I think of it is like it's almost as like abusive to like the viewers, even though I know they don't think of it like that. And I know the most streamers don't think of it like that either. But for some reason to me, it just feels like a little bit dirty to do it. It's like a little bit dirty to do it. I don't know why exactly I feel that way. Because it feels like someone's paying like for your time in a way that's like... That they want you to have a good time while they're also having a good time, but a lot of the time you're not, and you're kind of like forcing and faking it to make it seem like you're having a good time. Like, I don't know. It just seems kind of bad to me. But... I okay. I don't know if I guys told if I told you guys about this. For my birthday dinner, my mom wanted to go to some place that was like fancy. I'm like, okay, whatever. I would have taken like slightly above Domino's pizza takeout level of food. Like I would take like eight dollar burger like night out for free food. It was like sounds good for my birthday. I don't give a fuck. But then we went to this like kind of fancy Italian restaurant. I was like, okay, you know. This probably will, like, taste good, so, you know, I'm not going to complain. It's free for me. It's a little bit expensive, but I'm not going to complain. It's my mom's money. She she wants to take me out, something nice. That's fine. And then, um, 
And then the problem was, uh, like, we got there. It's kind of nice. You know, I look at the prices. It's a little bit expensive. It's not too bad. Dishes aren't, like, $30, but they're, like, most dishes are, like, you know, high 10s to, like, mid-20s, which is, like, pretty fancy for, you know? It's, like, in the... On the lower end of the high end, like, places to go. And then I, like, get my food. And it's just, like, salty. It's, like, very salty. It's, like, ugh. It's, like, kind of tastes bad. And the sauce is, like, kind of bad. The pasta, like, I got this, like, ravioli. It was, like, $26. It's, like, this better be some good stuff. It sounded good. It was, like, four cheese ravioli or some sort of cheeses with, like, a sausage ragu sauce. I was, like... Sounds pretty good. And then it was just, like, really salty, and the sauce kind of sucked. Like, the pasta sauces that I make at home were, like, were better than it, I felt like. I was like, this kind of sucks. I was like, ask, like, my mom, and I had my, like, stepdad, and I was like, hey, like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think your stuff's too salty? He's like, no, nah, it's fine. I was like, okay, you know, if you guys like it, whatever. It's free food for me. I'm not paying for it. I'm, like, not going to get mad. But that, and I and I saw, like, the dessert thing they had. They had, like, a, like kind of a rotisserie of, like, cakes and other, like, big pastries. Like, okay, that stuff looks good. Whatever, my food kind of sucked. But I saw some people with some cake. I saw some other people with some desserts. I was like, this shit's going to be fucking great. So I'm getting hyped for the dessert. And then we get this cake. It's like... Looks pretty, pretty nice. I eat it. I was like, this tastes really good. And then we got this other dessert thing. I can't remember what it was called, but it was definitely not what it was supposed to be. Some Italian, like, dessert. I can't remember what it's actually called. I probably should have just played card and killed this, but we're going to lifelink up to kill it anyways, so. Tiramisu. Yeah, no. Not tiramisu. I don't. Think. Maybe it was tiramisu. I don't remember. No, I think it was supposed to be like some like gelatin sort of thing. I can't remember. I'm kind of just going to be button clicking at this point while I'm telling my story. No, not lasagna. Just Man, it wasn't wobbly, no. But basically it wasn't correct. I, it wasn't what I expected it to be. But it was like kind of this chocolate thing, so I was like, whatever. Kind of, it was like chocolate moussey when it was supposed to be like something else. Which is like, I'm not going to complain about getting chocolate mousse, so I'll take it. And then my mom was like pissed. She's like, this is not what we're supposed to order. I'm just like, mom, it's fine. I didn't fucking complain about the salty pasta to the waiter and all this shit. Let's just not make the, let's just not do it. Then we get this cake. And I thought the cake was like delicious. It was like. Not cut. It was some sort of like cheesecake with like some nice berry compote on top. This is person is like, yes, it is. This is it. No, it's two desserts. Two desserts, not three. It's just two. Because I wanted to get something and my mom wanted something. I was like, okay, we can share. And I thought the cake was like delicious. I was pumped. And then my mom was like, this cake is so salty. I'm just like, how is this cake salty and your food wasn't salty? Like, what happened? Like, how? She was, like, going to complain to the waitress. I was like, Mom, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Your food was fine. I like the desserts. I said my food is shit. I didn't fucking complain. Like, calm your calm yourself down. It's whatever. We'll just not come here again. And, uh, and then she was like, yeah, I'm still going to tip 20%. I was like, damn, I would tip nothing because I think the food is kind of shit. And I think, like... Not only that, I also thought, you know, the waitress is there after I saw the, the bills and, like, how much people usually tip. I was like, these people, I'm pretty sure the waitresses are making straight $50 an hour, if not more than that. I was like, you know what? If the food is kind of garbo, I don't feel like tipping, mostly because probably the tips are split between the front and the back, like it usually is in most places in my city. So I was like, but she's like, nah, 20%. I was like, the food is garbo. I mean, I, like, I, I mean, I am a part of a, uh, people that 
people do not like how I tip, which is I only tip if I think the the um so mulligan. I probably should have mulligan the stand, but I'm telling stories. I am a person that usually only tips if the if the service is like better than average. Like if it's average, if it's just the expected service, I usually don't tip. And this is this is in an area where people get paid a wage. Like as a waiter and waitress, you get paid like a wage at the very least minimum wage. And the minimum wage is like eleven fifty, eleven seventy five, something like that right now. So, um, but like, I don't tip very much, but like if, if there's extraordinary service, I'll hit like a 20% tip. Uh, well, yeah, no, that is in most places. In my state, that is not the case. That's not how it works in my state. I would definitely have a lot of a different tune if that was, if the case was that, that people did not get paid at all. But, uh, you know, I am in the minority of thinking this. But I also like a lot of places, if I was forced to tip 20% or pay 20% extra for the food, I was like, okay, I'm just not going to go here. Like, if a $12 meal turned into a $16 meal, it's like, okay, I'll just go to, like, I'll, like, get takeout from some place where I don't have this, like, 20% extra. That's that is why I played the chromatic star. That was really bad of them to do, I think. I think I'm just gonna crack this relic and go for like the next turn, hopefully draw a land to be able to summon scribe. Special interests, yes. I think... Fortunately, the way that that government is done in America, a lot of problems will not get resolved. And there's a lot of, like, kind of scapegoating of problems in America, which I kind of hate. I should have played Sphere there first and then Star. That was a mistake. Yeah, no, if you get to a wealthy, if you work at a, like a high-end restaurant, you will make a lot of money. You will make a lot of money. I should have played Sphere first because if they play another... Oh, well, in this scenario, it actually ended up being better for me. In this scenario where they have Doughty Void Walker, instead of um, Shattering Spree, it was actually better for me to do it this way. But usually that is not the case. Because if they would have... Um, because if I would have done star instead, it wouldn't have gone to the graveyard, and I would have actually drawn a card. But the reason to play the star is because if they shattering spirit, then I still get a draw card. Those jaws must be very competitive. I mean, no, they're not. Most places, people are kind of... There's kind of a problem right now, which is... Well, I guess it's not a problem, depending on how you look at it. A lot of places are not able to find people to hire at the wages that they're offering. So they're raising the wages. Oh. That's... That's a problem. That's a problem. I see why they did what they did now. Um, so a lot of places are understaffed, and people are not willing to work because... Um, they either make comparable money or more money on unemployment because they boosted unemployment for, I think, until September, if I remember correctly. Like, I know places are struggling to find workers at, like, the McDonald's and the Domino's that are, like, near me at 14 or 14.50 an hour. 
And people are realizing that, oh, wait, if I just don't work, I can both make more money because I don't have to, like, unemployment uh, wages is really good right now because of the pandemic. And wages will go up across the board. And, you know, let me tell you, it's really, really easy to raise the wage. You know, people are going to be very excited about raising the wages. But once you raise them, it's essentially impossible to bring them back down. Season. Yeah. Yeah, I know people are desperate for labor because a lot of places you just people people realize it okay. If enough people if enough people are just not working, they kind of, it's kind of like um what's it called? You know, a bunch of workers get together union. Union is what the word. I think it's the union, right? Like, kind of what unions are doing, but, like, not quite. Well, I mean, I think wages should also change based off of where you were living. Like, an $8 minimum wage is, like, un unlivable in a lot of places in the U.S., but in certain places, it's like, you know, it still sucks. It's still awful wage. But it's, you know, better than nothing. Like, it's better than, you know being on, like, the streets, where it's, like, in certain places, $8 an hour is just gonna keep you on, gonna put you on the streets regardless. But, I mean, $8, I guess, is not a fair comparison. But you, you understand what I'm saying, like, 15, like, when they say $15 an hour, like, everywhere for, like, minimum wage, that goes far in a place like, you know, Alabama, or places where wages are pretty low. But, uh, cost of living is pretty low as well. But fifteen dollars an hour in like Bellevue, Washington, is going to get you a one bedroom apartment shared with two people in it, and you're still going to be using fifty percent of your income for rent. Let's get to plus over here. Look at Urza's mine and then play for Max here. You know, I hope people find this conversation at least somewhat interesting. Because I always, I always find these conversations at least happily interesting to me. I should not have played that uh, Relic of Genitus. That was really bad, because I'm going to have to crack it up with Blast Zone. Might be next game. Uh, wasn't that the infrastructure plan that just got passed? Like the 1.2 trillion infrastructure plan? Also, another thing that I kind of hate about our government is that when they say, oh, 1.2 trillion infrastructure plan, I don't know, like, how much of that's actually going to infrastructure, but a lot of it goes to, like, they tried to, someone, like, the last second went, like, there was something wrong with, I think I was reading, like, an article, it's like, something was wrong with how the tax wording was on cryptocurrencies in the bill, and someone said, hey, um, this tax wording is basically, like, wrong. And we need to change it. And this guy went like, okay, here are some changes to make it so it actually like works correctly. How it was intended to be said. And then a guy, it was going to be unanimously passed, which I think it needed to be. And then one person said, um, I'm not going to pass this unless you add $50 billion of defense spending on top of it. And everyone went like, uh, well, shit. Be need to put this language in or else it kind of messes up stuff pretty badly. But also, we don't want to have $50 billion of extra defense spending. So then they just ended up not adding the crypto thing because someone was like, I'm not going to just give $50 billion in defense spending on this bill because some, some person realized that they could kind of just sh like ship it in. So, like, stuff like that can happen, and it's just, like, absolute garbage. Absolute garbage, things like that can happen. I will take that here, because I don't want them to play another Alpine Moon. If they cast something with their mana, then I would probably crack. Hmm. 
Sucks I missed the relic. I made a mistake. Cost myself a little bit. Hmm. What are we rising about? What do you mean? And, I mean, there's certain places and certain people that have very good ability to have upward mobility, um, especially in the form of jobs. Oh, gamers right though. Oh, I just, like, wrote that title. But a lot of people don't have any opportunity for upward mobility, essentially, like, at all. AKA, poor neighborhoods, mainly filled with minorities due to history of red taping and such. Hmm. I mean, you do some people to get unemployment. Oh, yeah. Not being poor, just getting a job pays 100k. <laughs> I mean, some people have to try a lot harder to have, like, a good job or have a better spot in life than other people do. And that's just kind of the fact. It's the lottery of being born in a shit place or being born in a good place, being born with a family that has money and not uh, social standing and such. Luckily, I was born into a family with reasonable social standing, so I was able to do a lot of things that certain people can't. What am I getting with this? I paid for college with government money because my family was not doing particularly well financially once I started college. So that was nice. Hmm. Um, I mean, I do agree that there are at least some amount of workers that I could be working harder, but that is probably not the largest subset of them. Easy as that. If only. If only it were that easy. Yes, but we want people to not have pain and suffering to be able to, you know, we largely, uh, I think as a people, have decided that we don't want pain and suffering for most people. Jump pills. Yeah, exactly. I have to hit cards. Fire, yeah. This doesn't make all these things, yeah. Take that away from me. Yes. We'll take out. They land again.
Yeah, like if you had minimum wage and you would get four fifty a week for not working, yeah, eighteen hundred a month. That's like calculator that eighteen hundred divided by forty. Wait, did I do that right? No, it's eighteen hundred divided by one sixty. There we go. You'd be making about this much. Um, and then you like so if you make this much, then you'd be uh going even with unemployment. And then why would you ever work? You can just, you know, not work and do other things. Your time has value, obviously. And even if your time had zero value somehow, like you were literally just okay, I'm laying down doing absolutely nothing. That is that is the value of my time. Then you still be uh Like, still, it wouldn't make sense to, like, go back to work at those prices. So you can imagine a lot of places are paying, like, $14, $15 an hour. And it's, like, essentially putting time, like, the value of your time at, like, $3, $4 an hour, which seems kind of bad. That's a lot of value. Money. That is not necessarily true. It's just a little bit. Yes. But I mean, is like, there's the, it's a hard thing to look at because obviously people are willing to pay that much to live in that area. And people are willing to accept jobs of minimum wage to, you know, do the jobs in the area or whatever wages there are. Or else, you know, people wouldn't do the jobs and people would have to pay more. Well, if you're watching this on YouTube and you liked anything that you saw or anything you heard while we were conversing, make sure to give a like to the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.